You want to be a copywriter, you want to make money, you want to stay consistent, but you haven't niched down. And you don't use ChatGPT or Bard. Because let's face it, AI tools are here to stay. So what is this Bard that everyone is talking about? Well, it's a direct competitor of ChatGPT, and it's going to be better. They say on this website that Google Bard is switching to a more capable language model. So they tell us that it's going to be more capable than ChatGPT, because let's face it, they just want to make money, right? They want to make a lot of money, and they will do, as they have always done it. But what can Bard do that ChatGPT, especially now that it has like GPT-4, can't well firstly it can write a lot of more words you know if you have tried chat gpt that it only gives you the possibility to write like 500 words articles or whatever so you are limited to 500 words per response now we did some like round some roundaways about that we just go by section by section you know paragraph by paragraph but bard can do it very very simple it can do a lot of things and it will be able to do a lot of things but it isn't available in all of the countries yet so we just have to stay put but until then let's see what is it first of all what i would recommend is that you join the waitlist for bard you can just go to bard.google.com and you will just have the possibility to join the waitlist by having a google account you just have to be 18 or over supported browser blah 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 it is easy just join the waitlist all right and in the next few minutes we're gonna see what bard can do i'm gonna use chat gpt as an example because i can't use bard yet but it is gonna be the same thing just a bit better now you know that copywriting is a skill nowadays which is highly valued you can see that on fiverr there are like 10,000 services available and you can see that these people are making some huge amounts of money for example just take a look at this guy he already sold like 500 of these and his basic price is 170 dollars now just take a look at this 280 for his standard package and premium package almost 500 dollars 500 dollars for 600 words 600 words designed to overcome all objections and get them to hand you money so that's pretty like a big mouthful but still he got 500 sales if we just take this number 500 sales we take like this standard package let's say we can estimate how much money this guy has made so 580 times 280 and that's gonna be 162 thousand dollars just for copywriting so you like copywriting as well you want to make this money but how you can do it well, what is the most important thing that you got to do is to niche down, okay? There is a reason they say that the riches is in the niches, okay? So you have to niche down because you can't compete with all of those people, especially on Fiverr, on Upwork. There's a lot of competition and you've got to stand out. So this is what you got to do. You have to have a laptop, right? Place where you can type those words out. And of course, you have to practice. And as I've told you, niche down because just take a look at this copywriting i've told you 10,000 services available but take a look at this if you go to fiverr and you just go for example to email copywriter you will see that there is only 1700 services available when you just niche down a little bit now don't get me wrong email marketing can still get you a lot of money okay but there's not only email marketing there's like twitter mails there's like twitter ghostwriting there's like blog articles fictions novels you know you, you have endless possibilities with this so you have to niche down and that is going to become like what do you like most okay what do you enjoy most what do you want to write emails what are you want to like like twitter posts or maybe instagram posts because instagram channels also need like some copywriters because for example let me just open certain posts let's say this one you will see actually that there is something that has been written here and that is being written by a copywriter. So this channel has hired someone probably to do those copyright captions for their Instagram posts, right? So that's it. So you got to find your niche, okay? So that's the first part. Now, how can ChatGPT or Bard help us in that? Well, you know that ChatGPT can do anything at all. It is going to be the same thing on Bard. ChatGPT has been exploding since the end of the last year. And it's going to be the same thing as Google. You know, Google just want to get out of his competitor. 
it is most surely going to be the better one, but let's just wait and see. Now, regarding the email marketing, I can just ask ChatGPT the following. You can start it out like this. I need email, which is going to help me to sell my product. Can you help? So you can just write it like that. Of course, ChatGPT is going to tell, of course, I can assist you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So now you just have to specify this. Let's say that you got a client which has his company and he just wrote you this like question that I have asked ChatGPT. GPT. So this is the whole program you can see. Now you can just play the role of ChatGPT. So whatever ChatGPT has been asking you, well, these are the questions that you are going to ask the customer. All right. So first of all, you've got help in these questions. And when a customer sees that you ask a lot of these questions, which are really specified, really concrete, you know, well, he's going to value you more. He's going to trust you more because he will see that you are interested in what his product is, what his company is, so you can do a better job in making that copyright an email, you know? So what is your product? Who is your target audience? What is the purpose of the email? And blah, 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 all the rest. So when your customer just decides to tell you all of that, you can just input that into chat GPT and you can make an email sales page, which is going to sell because after all copywriting, it's like art of selling with words, right? So basically you're just convincing someone to buy something by just using the words. All right. And email marketing is a really, really popular nowadays. You would think that emails like are just gone that you just think of the past. No, it's a really good like channel source for just selling things. So let's say that my product is called, I don't know, maybe lose it, let's say like that, and it helps people to lose weight. I'm just going to stick to this niche, you know, I'm just going to write it like that. So ChatGPT is right away going to write me an email, which I can use in order to sell my product. Or you can just sell this to your customer on Fiverr or Upwork, let's say. And you can see that it has already given me the email, all right? So a totally big email email that is gonna sell you know you can just read this email and you can see how actually convincing this one is all right it is a really really good thing and it gives you like regards your name you know it gives you like the promo code lose it 10 and this is really good this is fantastic actually now maybe you have heard about this website digistore 24 they also have like these sales pages and when you go to these products let's say you have affiliate support page that redirects you to some of these like resources that you can use in order to promote these and you will most surely find some materials for example affiliate materials you will get like a lot of these like emails which are called email swipes and those email swipes those have been written by copywriters so you can make money with that as well so just write these email swipes using chat gpt of course and if you want to change something you can do it but chat gpt can do a lot of work for you so you can work faster and you can get more money and that's only one niche okay so i've been talking about only one niche so far but if you're a copywriter you're gonna have so much opportunities okay there is like endless stream of opportunities today if you want to sell with words let me just show you the next example so if you go to google and you just search for kitchen essentials for a parton okay so you just tap that you go to some blog and you see that you've got a lot of these frying pan pots, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to read this. But what I want to do, I want to copy this one. I just copy it. And then I will make a new conversation with chat GPT. So it gives me this. So it's going to write me the blog, the article, the blog post, whatever, which is entitled to this topic. So what can I do with it? Well, we can make a blog just like these people are doing. We can make a certain blog and we can just monetize that blog or our website with some affiliate links because everyone is doing that. OK, let's face it, either like an Amazon affiliate marketing or Digistore, people are doing this. They just make blog posts. They rank for SEO, of course, which ChatGPT does well. And Google Bard is going to do even better. And then they just put their affiliate links. All right. Now in here, if you just type it like this, you're going to get something like this. But you want to instruct ChatGPT. You want to tell him, I want a blog post 
about this topic, okay? And then, of course, it is going to start doing that. It's going to write us a blog post, which we can just copy and paste, and then we can monetize that, all right? For example, just take a look at this blog. So the 58 kitchen essentials your brand new apartment needs. So you just go down there, and right away you see view offer on Amazon. And for all of these, like, products, they review them, but, of course, they're not just doing it for fun. They're not just doing it because they love you or me, you know, they're doing it for money. Everything on the internet has been done for money nowadays. Remember that. And you will actually see that each one of these links is going to take me to Amazon or some other selling platform where I can buy actually this kitchen scale. And of course, whenever I buy that, they get a commission. But on Amazon, it is even better because Amazon cookies work in the next way. If I click on someone's affiliate link and I go to Amazon, that cookie is staying with him for 24 hours. All right, so 24 hours, whatever I buy on the platform on Amazon, the commission is going to them. Because that's just the way Amazon works. It's a good thing for affiliates because that link stays with you, you know. Because sometimes, let's say, I don't want to buy this kitchen scale and you affiliate for it and i just scroll down and i don't know i like this one better i go inside i buy that one well you are still gonna get a commission because you are the one that got me to amazon in the first place and that's good all right so if you want to get yourself involved into some affiliate marketing on amazon you gotta know that it's a good thing you know and trust me there's a lot of more use cases and it's gonna be available with google vart as well because they say it's going to be more capable. Well, first of all, you're going to be able to write more, okay? So you're going to have to be, like, more creative, but you're going to get a lot more words. You can make more blog posts. And since this is an autopilot, you can just make, like, the thousands of blog posts during the day, and that'll help you just rank higher on Google, all right? And then you can just use affiliate marketing or some email copywriting, whatever you want to do, okay? If you want to do it, just go and just don't give up. Choose one thing, just choose one thing and then go with it. Stay consistent. Take the action and I'll catch you.